Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your access to the command prompt has been denied. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you can easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import it back in, all you would have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now we're ready to begin. And we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK current user folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. So double click on that. Should be a policies folder in here. Double click on it. Microsoft, again, same thing. Should be a Windows folder in here. Double click on it. And then there should be a system folder. Just left click on that one time. If you need to pause the video and take note of our file path, it's up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash indicates a different sub key that we've gone under to get to this point. And now on the right panel, there should be something that says disable CMD. It should be a D word value. Go ahead and right click on that and select delete. Select yes. And then at this point, you want to close out of the registry editor and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Now if you attempt to open up the command prompt, you should be good to go. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.